All right, welcome back to the Theonomics shop here. We got a cool project going on. This is uh, an amphibious vehicle, imagine that. I've been wanting to build this from before I started building the houseboat. I, I was buying the parts and getting this together and uh, the houseboat happened and made that amphibious, all that stuff went down and that was freaking great. But now things have settled down with that and I have some time and I wanna build this because it's been sitting on this table literally for three years. So let me tell you a little bit about what's gonna happen with it and uh, what my aspirations are with it. And we're gonna try to do a video series that sort of documents the build process. And uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of things that are not yet discovered that are gonna be problematic. And you know, maybe you guys can give some input because I don't know what I'm doing here either, but together we might be able to figure this out. So this is an engine and transmission from a geo tracker and the wheels are from geo tracker as well but i got some bf goodrich mud train tires just to keep me motivated as we're building this but that's kind of the style i want is to be utility and off-roadable and then also be good on the water like that's the goal is to be really practical all-around vehicle and that's going to be a challenge because most amphibious things they work kind of good in the water and kind of good on land but they're both a compromise and i'm hoping this will be an in-between great vehicle but we can all hope. We're gonna mainly focus on the transfer case, which is like the most important part on this uh, whole project because it's basically gonna be a rear engine. We have two wheels in the front, one wheel in the back, and there's a transfer case that I'm gonna build that goes right here. And that is gonna connect our drive shaft to the front wheels and also the engine and transmission power to the propellers, which are gonna be in the back here, both on either side. The way I'm building that is uh, I can't just go out and buy gears and put everything together, have it all machined, that's expensive and uh, we're poor. So what I'm doing is I'm taking apart, uh, so far I've took apart three transfer cases, which is the four by four transfer case to this engine and transmission. So building the transfer case custom by modifying three of the old ones. I have, I've collected a bunch of the old ones out of junkyards. You kind of want to match what the already engineering is for the vehicle. Like this engine produces this much power. So they designed this transfer case to withstand that much power. And if you just go out and you try to figure it out on your own, you'll likely break a lot of things along the way, figuring it out. So it's safer than cheaper this way. Basically going to take the top half of the transfer case is going to stay the same. And this is a four x four transfer case because this was a four x four. And I'm gonna modify the bottom of it. I'm gonna cut into the center and some into this piece too. This, this, is, this is the transfer case front. It basically bolts on there. And the plan is to cut into this, this a little template that kind of tells you what's going on. But basically this part is here that's that part of it. And then I'm going to cut into here, this section, and then build all of this. These are spots for other gearing. And then basically this goes on top of this and I'm going to cut straight through there, cut here and probably cut all this off just cause it's, we're not using this anymore. They're coming out here instead of here. And hopefully it's going to work cause there's a lot, to figure out here. It all has to come apart because you have to assemble it obviously. And if anything goes bad, you have to repair it. So it has to be dismantleable, which means I have to keep these bolt surfaces. There's a lot of thinking involved, uh, but we're going to get there. We're going to put aluminum tubing around, basically build the structure of the body and then skin the aluminum tubing with eighth inch uh, aluminum on the bottom and will progressively get thinner as we go up the rest of the body. Just the, the, the bottom needs to be pretty tough because it's going to be sort of an off-road vehicle. Um, and you don't want to poke a hole in your boat, you know. You're going to sit somewhere in, in this vicinity and you've got the shifter. And I think your legs will go up probably over the axle. Um, yeah, 
and there will be a fender over this on both sides and something in the back similar and it's going to be a teardrop shaped fender and the plan is to be able to pivot it right in the center so we can flip it so the teardrop will be this way and it will act as a ski so the biggest thing about amphibious vehicles is in all boats really to get onto the surface of the water you you can get on it but you have to you sort of have to be like an opposite of a wing you have to kind of push yourself out of this out of the water and when you have enough propulsion you can push yourself and you're basically starting to skip on the surface and that cuts down on drag tremendously um, the houseboat obviously the wheels are just dragging and that's okay but you max out at about 10 miles an hour when you do that type of thing but this one i'm hoping to go faster than that so that's the plan with keeping the wheels above the surface of the water um, whether that works or not that's the prototyping we don't know so let's go look at the the rest of the gearbox in the other room and we'll see where we're going this is the piece that bolts to the transmission side um, I have three of these because I took apart three of these transfer cases so this is one that I've since cut up and welded a plate on the bottom of it so there's a shaft that comes out here and that um, goes to the wheels in fact I'll go get it so. this bearing presses in there it's a little hard to do at the moment but uh, and from the bottom of this goes to this and this gear is now connected to this gear which is just another one of these gears just I put it down there and I welded it in on here so now that spins and uh, these gears are still free spinning on the shaft in here but they're not going to spin like that they're going to be when you spin this you're going to be spinning this too because there's two propellers going out the back they have to counter rotate that's pretty important if they just go the same way and it's your boat will kind of go in circles or something it won't work right so there's quite a lot of thinking involved with doing that so you have four gears now because you can't just have two because then they would go they would uh well they would go the same way but you have to have a control gear then i'm building a case now i have this i can use the top of the original case but from here down is all new, which is what I'm doing here. These are quarter inch plate aluminum. So this one is gonna be uh, in the middle here, somewhere in there. And then this plate will go on the end. Unfortunately, we still have to have the transfer case because it's three pieces. It has to all bolt together. That's kind of where the challenge has been because you have to be able to dismantle this thing if you have problems. That involves a lot of welding and cutting and drilling and tapping and uh, I don't know if you guys want to see that because it takes forever. Basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting the pieces out of the original cases. So this case is getting cut. I'm gonna cut all along here. I'm gonna machine it flat. And then I'm going to weld it to this on the inside. So that is going to be welded to that. And that way, all this precise machining, which I can't do, because these machines just take forever. So then this will push onto those bearings and everything will be in the right place. It involves a lot of cutting out. So like this piece used to be somewhere around there. I got rid of all that crap and cut it out uh, on the lathe and smoothed it out a little bit. And then those are going to go right there on either side because that's where the propeller shafts come out. And you have to think about how the shaft is coming in. And there's going to be an oil seal here, which keeps the gear oil in the transfer case. And then I need a seal. This is one of them out here to keep the water out of the car 
So I'm gonna have like a dual seal situation here. And then your shaft will slide in there. That's the plan anyways. We're a long ways off from that and uh, we're just trying to try to keep you posted as time allows. So there's a lot of things we're gonna go through together with you following us. Um, so I think it's gonna be a fun project and uh, starting on it now, I'll probably run out of money in another two weeks. So I'll have to work on some other stuff and then we'll be back on this. But before the water warms up for the year, I hope it'll be ready to go in the water. So um, stay tuned and uh, do it.